President Mohammed Buhari signed the 2020 Appropriation Act into law at the State House in Abuja on December 17, 2019. The Federal Executive Council has approved the revised medium term expenditure framework and the 2020 budget. The revised estimates are based on $25 per barrel of crude oil at the production rate of 1.94 million barrels per day. Earlier, the Minister of Finance, Zainab Ahmed, had hinted that the government would make the revision based on declining international oil prices and the impact of the coronavirus pandemic. With us in the studio is Leonard Ebute, Public Affairs Analyst to make sense of this. Thank you very much for your time on the news. Um, is this a good decision, do you think, when it comes to the revised budget that we now have? Yes, I mean, the entire world is making adjustments. Um, the, the key is really to make the right adjustments. Um, I have a lot of issues around the kind of adjustment, the scale of it, the size of it, the structure of it. But is it the right time to make really, really important radical adjustments to the budget? Yes. I actually just feel that the adjustments made weren't radical enough. Okay, the approval of the loan by both the legislative houses has been with, uh, has come with some uh, public uh, backlash, whereas the Buhari-led government has maintained that Nigeria has not exceeded um, its borrowing threshold when uh, its debt to uh, its debt to GDP ratio is considered. Uh, should we be worried that maybe we're borrowing too much? No, um, but uh, but the argument the government is putting across is not a very viable one. But that's not the reason. It's a good idea to borrow. Actually, yes, it is true. Nigeria's debt to GDP ratio is around the lowest in the world. But you don't repay your debts from GDP. You repay your debts from revenue. And so the important measure of liquidity should be the debt to revenue ratio. However, that said, um, this is Nigeria is in a place where Borrowing has to be legitimized. Um, we are dealing with a pandemic. We are dealing with a recession and a stagflation happening simultaneously. And so you really need to jumpstart this economy. One of the ways to do that is through businesses and through government spending. To spend, you must have money. If your revenue source is declining, then that source of funding has to be external. Now, exchange rate is not favorable for foreign loans. So you have to rely on domestic loans. So I'm happy that the government is looking inwards to raise the, those domestic assets. But my concern is, why are you borrowing 850 million, which is not even an addition to the budget? It was supposed to come from foreign sources, now it's coming from domestic sources. You should be borrowing trillions, because that's what the prognosis say we need to jumpstart this economy minimally. Okay. Yes, the U.S. government is putting three three trillion dollars into there. That is that is one thousand. That is about uh, how many times? Four, five times? No. What am I saying? More than ten times our total annual budget. In addition to the to jumpstart the economy, we should be thinking of bigger, bolder, more important things like that. Not eight fifteen million. Nigerians should keep quiet about eight fifteen million. It's a drop in the ocean. Of what Leonard, we need thank you very right. much uh, yeah. for your time on the news. We Thank appreciate you. it. Yeah.